What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another video. Uh, so I'm going to actually be doing somewhat of a mini series uh, about the Apple Watch. Um, essentially what I'm going to be doing is uploading several short, quick, and to the point uh, how-to videos about general things that you would like to know about the Apple Watch. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing for the next few weeks. Um, now this video here that is going to be the first uh, video in that mini series and what this video is going to be about is how to edit and change watch faces on the Apple Watch. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and turn on the watch. And if you don't already have a passcode, uh, you don't have to do this, but I do have one on, so I need to just type that in there. Okay, so from here, you see your general um, watch face that you have current set, currently set. Uh, this is the default, actually. This is actually one that I cre um, customized already. But if you want to change the watch face, you need to force, uh, force click on the display. Uh, it's, ra it's more of a hard press rather than just a tap. Uh, and then from here is where you can adjust the different watch faces. So I believe there is a total of nine. So we have utility, modular, simple, motion, astronomy, color, solar, chronograph, Mickey, and extra large. And then you can also add a new watch face when more become available. And then you can also customize it, uh, a brand new one also with your uh, personal preferences. <clears throat> uh, but say, for example, you want to choose one of them, all you have to do is tap on the one that you want, and then that will be the watch face that will now be selected and that will be used for throughout the next uh, time that you use the watch. Now, as you can see, there are little icons on each side of the watch uh, face. So if we go back into the uh, edit mode, uh, there's another button down here called Customize. So when you click on that, uh, this will allow you to customize certain sections of the watch. Uh, as Apple calls these sections, the uh, complications. Um, so basically what we're editing right now is the actual watch face itself. So if we turn the digital crown, we can adjust the uh, watch face uh, to basically how uh, the certain num amount of numbers uh, that we want to show and if you go all the way back up it'll show all of them so it's quite cool and then if we scroll over we get some more uh, detail so we can change uh, the color as you can see we are changing the color and now it has turned white so basically you can turn it from black or white depending on your preference and then if we switch over again uh, this is where you can adjust the complications. So we can adjust the date, whether or not you want it to be the date, uh, or if you want to be turned off. And then we can tap on this one up here, which you can choose either the moon phase, sunrise, weather, activity, um, alarm, timer, battery percentage, uh, world clock. Uh, world clock, once again, uh, basically scrolling through all of the clock the a world clock that you have set uh, so let's say for example you want to do uh, let's say the weather you want to do that so just leave it as like that then we want to change the one down here and then we say we want this one to be uh, our activity so we'll just put it on the little activity symbol and then the last one we can change to say the battery percentage so then when you're done editing the watch face you click the digital crown or to push it in and it will save it and then you tap again and there you go your customized watch face is now set and ready to be used so now to give you guys an example of one that you can change color if we go into this one here force click again and hit customize um, if we scroll the digital crown as you can see the watch face changes colors depending on how further uh, you scroll so we have several different colors to choose from, which is quite interesting, actually quite cool. Um, and if you scroll all the way back up, it goes to the default color, which 
for this watch face is red. Uh, so if you want to be done, hit the digital crown again, tap, and you're ready to go. So it's really, really cool. Um, really nice customizability for your personal preferences. Again, this is my personal preference watch face. But anyway, that is how you edit watch faces on the Apple Watch. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to hit the subscribe button right down there. Uh, also hit the like button as well. Much appreciated. And if you guys have any questions or need help, leave those in the comment section below. And I will get back to them as soon as I can. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And see you guys next time. Peace out.